Good morning. Today we are learning how to embed a Google document into a Google site. You need to make sure you've changed your document access level to anyone with the link can view so that once it's embedded on the site, others will be able to view the document. If you're not sure how to make these changes, please view the related video on my YouTube channel in either the Google playlist or the Senior Portfolio playlist. Once your settings are adjusted, you're ready to embed. To start, you'll need to be logged into your Google site. Go to the page that you would like to embed your document on or any other Google item such as a presentation or a form and you'll need to get into the editor mode. To get into editing mode, click on the pencil in the top right corner. To insert and embed your document, you will click on insert in the top left corner and then select the type of item you would like to insert. Today I will be inserting a document, so I will click on document. It's important to know the name of the document that you're going to be embedding. Otherwise you'll have to just scroll through and try and find it. Today I'm going to embed my test document. Click on, once you've selected and located your document, click on the checkbox next to it, next to it and then click the blue select button. This will bring up your document settings window. Um, you can choose to include a border. I like it, so I'm going to. You can include the title. You can change the title if you want. Um, if you're working on your senior portfolio, you probably don't need the title because your website and web pages will already have that included. You can also change the embedding dimensions. Um, 600 height is pretty standard. If you leave width blank, it will make it as wide as the screen. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put 400 just so we can see what that looks like. Once you have what you think you want your settings, go ahead and click the red save button. Right now it looks like it didn't work, but it did. Don't worry. Okay, It shows up when you're in editor as this gray box, but if you click the save button in the top right corner, it will take you out of editor and you'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm looking here and um, I probably don't need it this big. Um, maybe I want it taller but not as wide. So I want to change my document settings. To do that, I'll need to get back into editing mode. Click on the item and this little menu bar will pop up. You can delete it with the X. You can um, wrap text around it, you can center it or put it to the right. I'm going to get back into the properties and I'm going to change my height to 600 and then my width to um, 400 and let's see how that looks. Again, you don't see it in editor so I'll click save. And now it's itty bitty, but you can play with it and change it to how you want it to look. And that is how you embed a document on your Google site.